Hello. Welcome to the getting started video for the Entropy and Sons Recursion Studio. Like many items, substances, materials, things, and objects since the dawn of civilization, it comes in a box. Open the box. Inside of the box is a case. Inside of the case are several items, substances, materials, things and objects. The first is your synthesizer. There is a power unit and cable. A video cable. An HDMI to USB adapter for video input. A Wi-Fi adapter for network access. 1.873 quadrillion magnetoscopic self-regularizing endospores. Two feet for propping up the device. A USB-C to 8-inch audio cable for connecting cellular phones. And also introductory documentation. On the back of the synthesizer you will see multiple sexy ports. There are 8 0 to 10 volt CV input jacks, which are protected from invalid voltages. There is an audio rate input jack for full audio signals. 5 pin MIDI in and out ports. A USB-C power jack, an HDMI output, and a pass-through audio output jack. On the left side we have an Ethernet port for network access and four USB ports for video input, MIDI, and image importing. Next, we will power on the device. In order to start, the synthesizer must also be connected to an active HDMI display. Powering on the synth takes about 30 seconds. After approximately 13.642875 seconds, you will see activity on the LCD panel. In the meantime, let's talk about raccoons. Wow, I didn't know that. Thank you for sharing such a fascinating raccoon fact with me. The first time the synthesizer is powered on, you must accept the terms and conditions. This will be followed by an introductory message. Now that the synthesizer has started, you will see the home screen on the touch panel. There are four main navigation actions available here. The first takes you to the Play UI for experimentation and twiddling. The second takes you to the Perform UI for using the device at a live event. The next takes you to the Create UI which exposes the advanced processing architecture of the synth. And the last takes you to the I.O. Configuration page for configuring external peripherals. At the bottom of the panel you will often see a dynamic collection of commands available to you at the moment. At the right of this list will always be a help command which will give you help relevant to the current UI page. You can also hold down on individual elements for help specific to that element. On the left side of the synth you will see the hardware controls. There are five large blue knobs for interfacing with parameters. The knobs are also buttons, which can be pushed to expose additional commands. There are five large buttons for triggering actions and LFOs. The functionality of the large knobs and buttons can change depending on where in the UI you are. There is a gold knob which is used for selecting UI items in the LCD. There is a shift button which exposes additional controls on both the hardware elements and touch screen. And there is a navigation button for quick navigation through the device's UI. Note that there is no off button on the device. In order to stop the synthesizer, you simply need to unplug it. Next, we will cover audio input and the play mode of the synthesizer.